Right, so good morning to those who are based in the North American region and uh, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, welcome to the pre-hackathon um, community event one of Polkadot Hackathon North America edition. And uh, welcome all for, and thank you all for taking time to join us today. Uh, my, my name is Justin and with me today, it's Urban from Web3 Foundation. Uh, and today is really just an opportunity for us to share a little bit more about what the North America edition hackathon will be about. Um, and similarly to make some special announcement to, for those who have actually joined us today. So Urban, um, the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, well, first of all, welcome everybody to this, uh, to this session. We're going to be, like Justin said, introducing the next stop in the global series, which is going to be focused on uh, North America. So go ahead, Justin, let's go let's keep on going. All right. So before we dive into details about the challenges, the prizes, the tracks and, and all that, um, we basically wanted to provide a high level view of what is about to come. So similar in similar fashion to the APAC hackathon that happened uh, last year, actually, yeah, it's, it's been a while, Justin. <laughs> yeah, um, th yeah th this is going to be a, a six week uh, long hackathon and mostly online. Um, I am saying mostly online because we do have kind of a small, uh, let's say, pre announcement. And I'm, I'm going to leave it at that for, for Justin to break the ice later. Um, yeah. So as opposed to the APAC hackathon, um, which was kind of a little bit more focused on substrate. Uh, we are uh, trying to expand it this time around to basically include the wider Polkadot ecosystem. Since as uh, you all probably know, uh, Polkadot has, uh, has gone from you know, the single relay chain coming online to a flourishing ecosystem of, uh, of parachains. And we are trying to include the entirety of the ecosystem as we move along into these, um, into these hackathons. So you're obviously welcome to, uh, like it says, build your first blockchain. Uh, but even further, you're, everybody is invited to explore the entirety of the ecosystem. So you might be a Solidity dev coming in. You might want to um, tap into one of the parachains that offer that. If, uh, if you're more of a Rust person, you can uh, explore Inc as the smart contracting language. You can explore some of the API tooling um, that is available or, you know, uh, go ahead and use Substrate to build, uh, to build a completely new blockchain. So um, like mentioned, we're trying to expand this as much as we can. But uh, the, the reality of, poker, uh, of hackathons is not just the hacking and the building, right? We want you to, first and foremost, have a good time, uh, get to know people, network, socialize. And um, granted, this is a bit trickier in a all online setting, right? We're all uh, social people. We like to uh, get in-person uh, time with everybody. But it's not always possible. So we're going to make uh, our best effort to include as much networking as possible, uh, as much uh, in-person time as possible, and obviously socialize uh, not just for the sake of building, but actually socialize for, for the sake of socializing to, to getting to know each other. So hackathons are not, uh, like mentioned, just the building and, and the socialized, uh, the socialization aspect. Uh, it's really also about learning and diving into new ecosystems, diving into new topics. So we are working really hard behind the scenes to make a lot of uh, workshops happen, a lot of mentor office hours to happen, um, a lot of resources uh, for people to be available. Uh, because you know the reality is that people come in, developers come in with various degrees of knowledge, expertise, and so on. So we're trying to kind of fill all of these gaps with different resources, different materials, and different, different um, workshops. So um, yeah, a, a combination of these and some fantastic prizes should be a pretty good motivator to, uh, to uh, dive in and to build something. Um, but yeah, Justin's probably going to go into that into more detail, so I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, spoil anything. Uh, but uh, yes, we are trying to prepare something pretty awesome uh, in the in the middle of the hackathon. So uh, let's go to the next slide and uh, let's talk some specifics. So <clears throat> the hackathon 
is going to come with five distinct topics or, or tracks. But these are just the main uh, kind of tracks and topics that we've got uh, for you prepared. So number one, and I, I want to mention, although they're uh, numbered, they don't come in a particular numbered order, right? It's, it's not like one is better than the other. Uh, this is just a random layout, really. So uh, interfaces and experiences. Um, we have a very powerful tool in the Polkadot ecosystem that is called Polkadot.js. And although it has kind of a apps UI to it, which a lot of people use as their primary wallet, actually, um, Polkadot.js is one of the most powerful tools of building interfaces and, and various experiences. So there's a whole category dedicated to UI and UX stuff. You, you might dive into something that you know and make it, maybe try to making it better. Uh, maybe you want to develop something that is, um, I don't know, a dashboard, a council washer, something like that, uh, that you think is missing in the, in the ecosystem. So DAOs and govern governance being the next one, um, and I think this is actually quite, really quite fitting uh, the Polkadot ecosystem, uh, Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems at large, because um, Polkadot in its essence is actually a huge DAO, if you think about it. All the governance that is built into it, um, it's really functioning in a, in a completely decentralized way. So it's a, it's a network um, that is really governed by a DAO. Uh, currently, that is the council and obviously all the um, dot stakeholders, Polkadot stakeholders. So um, because of that, we absolutely want to see uh, some more stuff being built in this realm. It's uh, it's an exciting time to be alive, actually, for DAOs. There's a lot of tooling being built. Even if you look at other um, uh, ecosystems that are out there, there's actually a lot happening, um, not necessarily uh, in terms of you know what kinds of, kinds of DAOs are popping up, but actually the tooling um, and the support that is needed to run uh, a DAO and to function um, as a DAO. So um, if you're into that, this is probably the perfect uh, way to get into, into the DAO stuff. Um, one more back, uh, Web3 and tooling. Um, so Web3 and tooling is kind of a larger catch-all category. Web3 and tooling just meaning uh, anything that is probably not going to fit into one of the other four categories should probably go into, into this one. Um, but particularly tooling, we mean uh, the developer tooling, uh, right? So you might not be, you might build something really awesome, something very useful, but it's not really for an NFT or for a DAO or it doesn't really have an interface. This is probably the category that you should be uh, looking at. Now, uh, if we go to the fourth and the fifth one, uh, these are really uh, kind of staples across the Polkadot, the, uh, across the blockchain Web3 ecosystem uh, in general. So DeFi and NFTs, I'm not going to go into detail because I think these are quite self-explanatory, uh, but really these are larger buckets where, you know, whatever you build with DeFi should probably go here. Whatever you build with NFTs, ranging from you know, metaverses to art to, to gaming, uh, is probably good to go into the fifth category. So that would be it for the main categories. But here's the catch, right? Uh, there is obviously more, and it doesn't come as a main category. It actually comes in the form of various different challenges that are put up by ecosystem teams. So if we have a look, we actually, on this on these slides, we've got 12 of them listed, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not going to take the time to go into all of these in, in all detail. But uh, what I do want to mention is that they come in very broad ranges and different, like Justin's going to take you through some of the prizes and so on. So various degrees of what you can build, various degrees of difficulty as well. Um, and you really can mix and match and, and choose what you, uh, you want to build. So we're going from Akala to Astar, Bifrost, Crust, uh, Equilibrium. We've got Ice Network here. Um, Justin, if you go, there you go. We've got Interlay, Fala, Subsquid, um, Unique, and Sidegeist. And I want to point out the number 10 here, uh, which is a mesh between four different teams. So Subquery, Moonbeam, Makala, and Hydra DX. And I think this is something fantastic that they've put together. And you know, not, not to uh, overshadow all the others, but I think XCM is something that has recently come alive and um, is actually something highly, highly um, excited and was anticipated for a long time. So it's cool to see something like this pop up. But um, regardless, what I wanted to mention here is as we move along, we will most likely have quite a few more of these challenges. So the next time uh, we have one of these calls, I think we might even introduce quite a few more, um, as well as as we actually uh, commence the hacking, because it just 
you, you know, people just keep on reaching out to us. So um, this is obviously a really good time for me to extend a public call. So if um, Justin and the Angel Hack team or if, uh, or uh, myself and uh, Zofia, who has been helping out with this, have not managed to reach out for you uh, to you. Uh, this is nothing personal. Pre please go ahead and reach out to us if you are one of the teams that feels left out. We're more than happy to accommodate everybody that comes in. Um, stuff just tends to fall through the cracks because there's literally hundreds of things that we need to get in touch with. So um, I'm very, very um, happy to announce that uh, there's going to be more coming here, uh, but it's really, really uh, cool to see all of these meshes and different kinds of technologies that you can come in. So um, I'm going to start, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop rambling uh, in a second and hand it over to Justin. Um, the last thing that I wanted to mention at this point is that um, you'll see once you, um, especially for the new developers coming in, you'll see that Polkadot actually doesn't have one starting point, right? Um, it's actually really hard for us to point you to one thing and say, hey, you should go here, and everything is written there. It's actually a mesh of different um, different technologies, different teams um, that have different value propositions as well. Right? So you can go from, like I said, Solidity smart contracts down to building your own pallets for a custom blockchain. And the range here is, uh, is quite different, and it can be um, also quite uh, the difficulty level can be also quite uh, different. So um, hence, I'm very, very happy to see all of these different kinds of uh, chains participating, different kinds of challenges being put up, uh, because it really encompasses what Polkadot is about um, and what you're probably going to see more of over the coming um, months and years. So with that, um, I am actually going to uh, hand it over to Justin. So I see we have uh, a question, but let's maybe wait until the end and then come back to um, all the questions. So if anybody has any extra questions, please feel free to um, uh, to chime in and, and write them down. But let's maybe answer them at the end of the session. So with that, Justin, the word is yours. Yeah. Um, thanks, everyone, for covering uh, basically what some of the categories um, that you know each of you can actually look at when you're participating at the hackathon. And also, we have really, really exciting um, thing going on, which is basically the ecosystem thing challenges. Um, and they're kind of still continue rolling um, even up to when we're going to launch the hackathon next week. Um, but all in all, um, just quick reminder, if you have any questions with regards to the hackathon or any, anything uh, uh, about this, um, do feel free to drop us a questions and we'll answer them at the end later on. So um, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, there are just so many teams that are actually involved um, in this hackathon, be it um, from the Polkadot side um, and, and the various part of the ecosystem teams um, who are actually contributing and all. Um, we do have, uh, as of today, uh, $561,000 uh, um, in price pool, uh, and it continues to roll as we continue to add on uh, various challenges um, from the other ecosystem teams. They are coming on board um, to join this um, um, for the greater cause as well. So what's going to, uh, how we're going to break it down, basically it's um, based on the categories that you have actually saw earlier on. Um, there will actually be an overall winner that's going to be uh, announced uh, at the end of the hackathon in itself. Um, the price pool is 30,000. Um, there's going to be a hackathon swag box and also um, discount for Substrate Runtime Academy. Moving forward uh, are the five um, main kit, uh, categories that was mentioned earlier on. Um, there will, for each of the categories, there will be a first place, second place, and third place, um, each walking away 20,000, 15,000, and 10,000 respectively as well for the team in itself. Of course, um, with everyone that's actually contributing into the ecosystem, we want to involve everyone. Um, there is a uh, bead participating at the hackathon or anyone that's actually part of the Polkadot ecosystem to also be empowered to kind of decide um, basically all the submissions that's going to take place to have a round of public votes um, that's going to take place. You do have the opportunity to kind of um, tell us uh, which project or which idea resonate best with you. And you know it, it could really be something that, that could flourish within the Polkadot ecosystem eventually, um, be it within the, the, the the ecosystem teams or, or even uh, within Polkadot itself. Um, there will be three uh, public choice winner, or uh, basically we call them the community choice in that sense, uh, that is going to be awarded um, with each team walking away with $5,000 um, and the rest of the items are pretty much the same at, uh, with the rest. So these um, uh, category prizes are actually funded by the Polkadot Treasury 
And uh, that's also something that, you know, the, the, the community have actually voted for and, and decided to just say, hey, this is really something um, that everyone is agreeable and, and everyone want this to kind of take place as well. So besides that, uh, and, and, uh, and, and part of the contributing to the price pool are actually the ecosystem team challenge prizes as well. So each of the ecosystem team that have contributed um, various challenges that you have uh, seen earlier on uh, as Urban have actually run through with them. Um, each of them comes with very um, different amount of prizes. Uh, and, 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 like I, uh, and like Urban said earlier on as well, these are kind of a mix and match in that sense. So for example, um, if you are one that's actually working on the interface and experiences uh, category tracks, um, you could leverage to kind of add on uh, potentially to, to, to um, have additional cash prizes to walk away um, by including some of the ecosystem team challenges as well at the same time. So at the end of the day, um, if your idea uh, is something that could um, leverage on, for example, cross network and even bit frost together, for example, then you're technically up for the uh, various prizes that's actually up for you, um, up for grabs as well. So just a reminder, whatever you're going to submit for the hackathon, do indicate um, which uh, category and the ecosystem team challenge that you're kind of integrating with, um, and then uh, you will technically be up for them for the prizes as well. So Akala, A-Star, Bitfrost, Cross Network, uh, Equilibrium, Ice Network, uh, Interlay, Fala Network, Subsquid, and the collaboration between Subquery, Moonbeam, Akala, Hydra, DX, um, Unique Network, uh, and uh, Zeagist uh, have all their own uh, bounty amounts um, that you could uh, leverage on and you don't have the opportunity to work away with, with part of the, the prices on top of what you might potentially be working away. Uh, as well. So we really use this opportunity um, and we do understand that every every folks of you out there do have different expertise and uh, that's also the reason why we kind of expanded how the hackathon would run to not just kind of limit to just substrate which is what the APEC um, edition was uh, mostly about uh, but rather really to, uh, to, to pull in uh, each and every single one of you, um, you know, with different knowledge and, and to really look at how you could contribute into this ecosystem in general. So, um, while Urban mentioned that uh, most of the things are technically mostly virtual, um, this is really an opportunity for us to really proudly announce that we are actually hosting the Hacker House uh, at New York City. Uh, and and the Hacker House is going to take place on the June 23rd to 28th. Uh, this is actually an in-person uh, session where there is lots in agenda that's in pipeline. We have workshops, um, we have time where you're able to build your projects. Mentors are going to be around to help you on, in person, on site, uh, to help you work towards your projects. Uh, and at the same time, it's really an opportunity for you to meet the people um you know that is actually participating in the hackathon and and really to 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 really expand and, and create a human touch to this hackathon in general um the location is going to be an industry city uh which is located in brooklyn itself and the qr code that you see over there um please you know at this point of time grab your mobile phone and scan the qr code and this is an opportunity for you to register your interest today um, do note that we do have limited seats at the Hacker House and all registered, uh, all registered interests um, from this point of time to um, the start of the Hackathon, we will actually be contacting you to confirm your attendance closer to date just to ensure that we have most of the logistics items sorted out specifically for you who have actually made the effort to kind of register your interest uh, ahead of time as well. So um, do, really do not miss this opportunity. Um, the team has really uh, put in lots of effort to you know, source a great venue. Um, and you know, uh, we have various rounds of looking at different, uh, uh, different venues that, that will really uh, be representative of what this Hacker House is all about. Um, and we are all really excited to kind of see you in person in New York City as well. So um, you know, uh, don't miss the opportunity and we really look forward to see you at the Hacker House as well. So moving forward, uh, just a quick recap of what we have just covered. Um, the hackathon period where you will start building your, your, your uh, you know, start working on your ideas and building the submissions will last from May 30th to July 11th. Uh, this is actually a six week 
uh, hackathon. Um, and uh, the price pool, apologies on that, is still 561,000 price pool and counting. Um, and do remember that there are, uh, uh, even though there are five main categories for your submission, there are really lots of uh, ecosystem teams challenges that you can integrate um, into uh, your submission, your idea, your project as well. And, and really, uh, it's really an opportunity for you to tap on what you already know uh, and to contribute into the ecosystem in general, the Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, of course, we do have lots of resources. Um, there are actually uh, curated uh, and also a huge lineup of mentors that are actually have ready their time uh, and avail, uh, avail themselves to be able to help you along uh, as you get going during this entire period. Um, we do have lots of networking opportunities as much as we could, both virtually and of course, uh, as I mentioned in the previous slide, definitely the Hacker House will be great op networking opportunities for you to know um, you know, to speak with various teams, be it from the Web3 Foundation, from Polkadot and, and the rest of the ecosystem teams. Uh, but more so, it's also an opportunity for you to find out what are the various opportunities you can tap on um, when you're there in person as well. Uh, and really, it's really some uh, an opportunity for you to develop your skills um, and, and to kind of test yourself at the same time as well. So right now, today, um, I really encourage you to get started on the Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, basically, the team uh, Urban and uh, Sophia have actually put in lots of effort to create a Polkadot pathway modules, uh, more specifically to the North America edition in itself. Uh, what you could do, and if you don't already have an account on Polkadot pathways, you could actually scan the QR code itself and to really um, get you get you onboarded onto it. Uh, if you already had done so, uh, or you already had a Polkadot Pathways, uh, basically scanning this QR code will bring you to the North America edition modules that they actually created as well. Um, and you know, just just um, for just to kind of get you going as well, uh, top 100 scorers based on the modules that you've actually completed, uh, the task that's actually up on there, uh, you will kind of get yourself a Polkadot Swag t-shirt uh, at the end of the hackathon as well. So, you know, why not? Uh, I would also love to have one. Uh, so Urban, um, just kind of a hint for you, but... <laughs> uh, on, uh, I mean, you have to be in the top 100. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'll probably just have to squeeze myself into the top 100 uh, with lots of people that's just going to participate as well. Uh, but yeah, our top 100 scorers at the end of the hackathon do walk away with a Polkadot um, swag t-shirt as well. So um, the big question, how do you actually get started? So essentially, uh, any persons who, are, who, wants, who would want to be qualified for the above prizes that we mentioned earlier on and even for um the the entrance to the hacker house um this hacker house was technically open up to the participants of the hackathon mainly um but other than that um the first step that you really need to do is to get yourself registered for the north Mer north america edition hackathon uh it's basically your entry ticket to everything mentioned above uh and um simply just scan the qr code similarly um and we'll drop the link uh, a little bit later on just for you to get registered as well uh, more so than that, um, the next step is really to be in the Polkadot uh, Discord server. Um, we do have a channel that's more specific to all the hackathons from the announcements, team formations, um, the mentors are there as well. Uh, and uh, any of the um, information about the hackathon is just all going to be there, including uh, all the help that you're going to get as well. So this is the space that you should be in. Um, have to be in the whole time uh, just to ensure that you know you are not missing out any any resources that we have actually gotten really for you and last but not least we do have a hackathon calendar that um, you can save it to your own just to ensure that you are um, equally aware of all the sessions that's actually happening as urban mentioned uh, the team has really come in together and put in pull in all the resources that we have um, to come up with lots of uh, workshops and sessions to get you going as well. So it ranges from substrate technical workshop all the way to the various ecosystem things, team sharing, um, just to get you started on uh, and to understand how you can go around, um, you know, tackling the various uh, challenge ecosystem teams challenges should you um, decide to take on any of it as well. So all this information, including the hackathon calendar and all the resources are actually available on the participants guide. 
um, that you will actually receive the moment you actually register to join the hackathon in itself. So um, right here, uh, just give a quick pause on this slide for anyone that's going to uh, you know utilize the QR code. Uh, I do see quite a few number of questions that are actually coming in. So do keep them coming along the way as well. Uh, Urban and I will get to them uh, in a slide or two later on as well. Uh, but just a reminder that you know the registration of Hackathon, most importantly, apart from being the entry ticket to everything, um, it's also to qualify your team for the prizes at the end of the day. So do make sure that anyone um, that you teamed up with uh, have actually registered for the Hackathon and that, that's really, really, really important, right? Um, I think at this point of time, it's a great time for us to take a pause of all talking. Uh, I think Urban and I will take this opportunity to actually look at some of the questions that we do have. Um, and uh, we'll probably just um, cover some of it as well. So uh, I'll probably take the first few that I do see. So um, first of all, uh, for a hackathon, uh, you are open to join as a solo member. Uh, but if you would like to actually recruit some of the other participants to form a team, you can essentially form uh, a team of four or even more. Uh, essentially, what we're trying to do here is at the at, at, at the optimal, we really want teams to be in a concise uh, you know, group of four to get things going. And it's kind of easier on coordination as well. However, if you you know you do have kind of like five or six people that you kind of work collective, uh, collective collectively together um, before and as a team you'd like to join the hackathon we are happy for you to kind of join uh, as per what your team is so technically speaking there's not too much of restrictions in terms of the number of teams that you have but well um if you're going to split the prizes to 10 people i guess we're happy to do so as well right um yeah so um we'll probably um have urban to take on uh, the next couple of questions uh, i believe one of them is just kind of asking if there is kind of uh, any plan on arab community yeah uh so yes absolutely um and i think i saw two such comments slash prizes so uh yes <clears throat> we are absolutely expanding this series um region by region um we are not completely sure where the next one is gonna be but uh, the idea, yes, to have a, let's say, Middle East focused um, event. Uh, we'll see how we combine this and, and how much interest we get. Uh, but generally, yeah, the, the idea is to kind of go um, all over the place. So uh, like mentioned, we started with, uh, with Asia Pacific. We're moving to North America. So as you can guess, there's quite a few um, uh, regions on planet Earth that we need to go to um, as well. So let's see, uh, prizes, oh, hello, Kami. Uh, the prizes are uh, cash USD. Uh, and uh, this is uh, essentially, so um, main prize pool is gonna be USD. Um, and I think the ecosystem teams uh, as well, but uh, all the specifics on also on the judging, not just the, the um, what is paid out and so on, uh, you wanna talk with uh, ecosystem teams in, uh, in particular, but generally, yes, everything is uh, cash USD. Uh, ha -ha, how do I refer you? So um, I, I would assume this is about how do you refer people into the hackathon. We don't really have a referral system uh, set up, so there is no, uh, you can't win more if you refer people, <laughs> uh, but you are more than welcome to refer people to um, join. You can do this via the uh, main landing page, so the, the web page that we've got up, or directly the dev post page. So both are either, either or really people should be able to participate. Um, let me take the next one as well, maybe. Um, can we submit for both the hackathon and ecosystem challenges via single project submission? Yes, and that is kind of the whole point of this, um, which really uh, allows you to stack some of these things on top. Um, generally, you can build something that utilizes hopefully multiple chains since XCM is live and so on. Um, but imagine building a solution that utilizes three different uh, chains that are also, um, you know, they have their own hackathon challenges up. So in theory, you might be able to win uh, all three of these ecosystem challenges and potentially, let's say it's, a, it's an NFT thing, you could win in the NFT category um, as well. So 
yes, it is stackable. Uh, it depends how uh, you know feasible it's going to be, but generally, yeah, you should be able to win in a uh, ecosystem challenge as well as be eligible for um, a track prize or even the grand prize. Uh, does the Polkadot Pathways have a joint code? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, Sophie, I see her in the chat. Could you just maybe paste the um, invite link for the uh, for Polkadot Pathways? What Justin put in here was the QR code. Uh, so if you didn't scan it, um, maybe somebody can just paste the, the link to it. Do we get a letter of invitation for New York City Hacker House? So, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, this is the first time we've gotten this question. Uh, why don't you send uh, maybe Justin uh, or myself an email and we see what we can do. I can't promise anything, uh, but generally, if you're keen on going to the US to the Hacker House, we will try to help you as much as we can. I don't know if letter of invitation is within the realm of, you know, quote unquote, as much as we can. Um, yeah, but would a treasury funded project build be eligible for the prize pool? Oh, I'm not sure I understand the question, Adam. Would a treasury funded project build be eligible for the prize pools? So if you're asking if a already existing um, project that has been funded by the treasury could be eligible for a prize, um, in theory, um, not for the portion that has already been built, right? So you would actually need to upgrade it and you would only be judged on the portion that is new. Um, so in theory, yes. Um, in reality, I would discourage you actually to use something as vast as, you know, if you've gotten substantial funding, uh, you've probably built it out quite, uh, quite a lot. Um, but in theory, yeah, but you would be only judged on the, on the portion that is being upgraded. Is there any, uh, sorry, Justin, I just keep on uh, going and answering, please. Yeah, no worries, please go ahead. <laughs> I'll just recap some of the things at the end of the day, no All worries. Right. Is there any integration between Kilt protocol and Polkadot? Um, so Kilt is currently a parachain on Kusama. Uh, so there is technically no bridge at this point, but uh, Kilt, uh, is uh, they don't have a challenge up, they don't have a prize, but uh, the Kilt members of, uh, I think, the DevRel team or the engineers are going to be present for some workshops and, and mentorship, and you can actually talk directly uh, to them. If you want to build a Kilt um, application, if you want to build a Kilt integration, you're more than welcome to do so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if my team in top 100 guys from New Zealand do, can we get swag? Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I sure hope so. And uh, on the note of swag, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, probably have, uh, Polkadot has gone through a brand redesign quite some time ago, but we were still using the old swag designs, which I'm wearing right now, actually. Um, we will be using new swag with new um, uh, logos and the new brand for this one. So. Very exciting, I think. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, did I leave anything out? Hey, I think that's pretty much it. Please do Africa next. <laughs> we, we will try to do Africa for sure. Uh, so anybody, and this is, again, a public call. If anybody is serious in um, kind of helping out maybe on the ground in some of these regions that we haven't been uh, there, please, please reach out to um, Justin or myself or to Sophie, who is active in the, in the chat. Uh, we are absolutely looking for uh, people that can um, help take this to the next level within the regions that, uh, you know, Polkadot hasn't been really uh, present as much. Uh, so yeah, please reach out if you're um, interested in, in participating or helping out. So I think that kind of sums it up, I guess. Yeah, Justin, yep. go ahead. Yeah. So just, um, you know, just for the benefit of everyone here, um, at the end of the day, while this is um, themed as the North America edition, um, you know, everyone around the globe is really welcome to actually participate at the hackathon. Uh, because what we are trying to do here is really about expanding what are some of the various items that you really can look at to actually contribute into the entire Polkadot ecosystem. And that actually stems out from the fact that we are actually doing the five main um, categories. 
And along at the same time, there are actually lots of ecosystem teams have actually contributed to the various challenges um, that you can actually integrate um, with whatever they're trying to build for your project submission um, for the hackathon uh, that is leveraged together with the categories. So like what men, um, Urban have mentioned earlier on, it's really about um, you looking at how feasible, uh, you know, the mix and matches kind of combination that you can really think of and um, really to submit as one project in itself. Uh, and that essentially lines you up for various prizes that you can actually uh, be up for, you know, based on the assessment as well. Similarly, any questions as regards to more specifics in terms of the ecosystem team's challenges, um, or be, maybe to find out a little bit more even on any um, additional assessment uh, criteria that we will be looking at, um, though we'll be covering it during the opening ceremony that's going to be happening next week. Um, what um, most of the details would be able to, um, you will be able to get them from the ecosystem teams themselves, and they do have their own specific channels um, on Polkadot uh, Discord server. Um, just look for the hackathon channel, um, apart from the main channels that are up there for the most um, the general announcements, technical check and all, um, the ecosystem teams are actually around there as well to answer any of the questions that you might have. So do leverage on this opportunity. And um, like I say, really, um, if you have any questions at the end of the day, do feel free to reach out to us on Discord, uh, drop us an email. Uh, myself, Urban, um, similarly, we will get, get back to, to you as much as possible as well. So uh, back to the Teams portion, I do see a couple, uh, one, one more questions that kind of uh, put out at the same time. Uh, essentially, what's going to happen is that you are you you are open to kind of participate as a solo hacker for the hackathon for sure. Um, but at the same time, we also do encourage you um, to kind of form teams or join with an existing team that you already have as well um, to kind of participate at the hackathon. And uh, at this point of time, we would encourage four. But if you already have a larger team, please feel free to participate as well. Don't feel restricted by it. Uh, what we're trying to do here is just to keep things as flexible and fluid as much as possible. At the end of the day, it's really about welcoming each and every one of you and various teams to really come in together and, you know, pick your ideas together and see how we can bring the, you know, the, the next cutting edge of blockchain within the region uh, itself. Right. So um, thanks, Zofia, for sharing the Discord link uh, on the chat as well. Uh, essentially, these are some of the pages that uh, Zofia had actually put in onto the chat, um, the website, the hackathon page, uh, the pathways to get you going in terms of learning, and essentially the Discord server as well um, to get you started um, on your journey as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Urban, any final note before we end? No, uh, look, just have fun, really. This uh, this whole event is really meant to, of course, you know, it's it's about building and um, coming up with a, an awesome submission and winning some prizes. But really, I, I really think I would encourage everybody to try and network as much as possible, try and find teammates and, and so on, even if you want to um, do solo hacking and so on. Like the, the point of this whole, this whole thing is to get to know people and get to know the ecosystem, get to know what you can um, do from here on as well. Right? I, I, I really like the notion of this, uh, this whole hackathon series being a, a launch pad for individual developers coming. Right? Maybe you're looking for your next job, maybe you're looking to, to build a company, maybe you're you know, um, just exploring what is out there. And I think this is a perfect opportunity to do so. So seize the opportunity, I guess. Um, but yeah, with that, uh, that's it from me. Uh, Justin, if you have any final words, otherwise we would thank you for your participation. <laughs> yep, um, I've dropped um, Urban and my email in the chat as well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop us an email and you know either of us are happy to kind of answer any of the questions that you have. Other than that, I uh, really thank you all for taking time to join this session today. Um, and please feel free to reach out to us um, if you have uh, any clarifications required. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.